everyone, I'm back to work on the really big cone tree that we made. And I decided, because I kind of panicked a little bit after when I realized, oh my god, it's pretty big. What am I going to do? So, I went out in the garage and earlier in the year I had gone to collect pine cones. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the pine cones because that will cover a lot of area pretty quickly. So I think I have plenty of them and, and what I intend to do is I'm going to cover them and then I'm going to spray paint them green. But this will give me um, some texture on the tree and then I'll do I'll paint it green and we'll see how it all turns out. Now this is going to require quite a bit of hot glue. I think what I'm going to do is start from the bottom and work my way up and I think I'm going to have them facing down like this and then I'm going to have the next row kind of come out a little bit. I'm going to just throw some hot glue right onto the cone. Put a big blob on there. Pull the pine cone in place. Now, if you were doing something else, you might want to paint the cone first, but because I'm going to spray paint the whole thing after, I'm not even going to bother with that. So, all you're going to do is keep going around. Oops. If you can find similar size pine cones, that'd probably be a good idea, but I don't think it really, really matters. I'm making some progress and I have the first row done, the second row, I'm working on the third and the only thing that I'm doing that I think you might want me to point out is that I am overlapping just a little bit on each layer. So I'm just going to keep working until we get to the top and then we will check in again. Now if you see some bare spots that are pretty big that you want to cover up, if you have some little pine cones, you can throw a little glue on there and then kind of put it up in there and let it let it kind of cool and stay in place there. And here you can see that I I put two two small ones in here as filler. Okay, I have finished um, hot gluing. I don't know if you can see this. I can't tell with the lighting. I finished hot gluing all of the pine cones onto the cone. And I'm going to have to spray paint it green. I've been working on the tree and this is what it looks like just plain, which looks pretty good. Okay, all I'm doing is I'm taking some white acrylic paint and I'm going over some of the edges of the pine cones. I'm not even doing all of them. And just where I think maybe some snow might have stuck. And then I'm taking some white glitter and over a bowl, I'm just putting it on there and it catches most of it. It doesn't catch all of it. And that's going to be our snowy tree. And when we come back, I'll show you what we're going to do with some ornaments. Okay, we are here to finish the tree. And I've got my hot glue hot and I put all the snow I think that I want to have on it. And what I've done is I took, I was trying to think of what else I could do to give it a little color. And it, it looks fine the way it is. And you could even do. Now, if you have little ornaments, you might be able to hang, you know, stuff from different places, and that looks cute. But I thought I would take it a little bit further, and I've gone ahead and I've glittered um, these golf balls, and I painted them. They were, you know, old beat up um, range balls, and I painted them red, and then I threw glitter on them, and that's what I'm going to put on to the tree in various different places um, to look like ornaments. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to go around the tree and kind of randomly put them on. Now the final thing that I'm going to do, I had made this in an earlier video, and you can click on the link and it'll take you right to the video, and this is made out of golf tees, and I've just glued them together and glittered them, and I'd made an ornament out of it. However. I'm thinking this might be the perfect thing, especially now that we're using golf balls. I'm going to snip this off and I'm going to use this as the tree topper. So I'm going to put that right up on top, hot glue it in, and that will be the star for the top of our tree. Okay everyone, here is the final Christmas tree 
and I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we will see you next time. Happy crafting!